Section twenty two of Poems by Currer Ellis and Acton Bell by Charlotte Emily and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clett. Remembrance by Emily Bronte. Cold in the earth, and the deep snow piled above thee, far, far removed, cold in the dreary grave. Have I forgot, my only love, to love thee, severed at last by time's all-severing wave? Now, when alone, do my thoughts no longer hover over the mountains on that northern shore, resting their wings where heath and fern-leaves cover thy noble heart for ever, ever more. Cold in the earth, and fifteen wild Decembers from those brown hills have melted into spring. Faithful indeed is the spirit that remembers after such years of change and suffering. Sweet love of youth, forgive if I forget thee, while the world's tide is bearing me along. Other desires and other hopes beset me, hopes which obscure but cannot do thee wrong. No later light has lightened up my heaven, no second morn has ever shone for me. All my life's bliss from thy dear life was given, all my life's bliss is in the grave with thee. But when the days of golden dreams had perished, and even despair was powerless to destroy, then did I learn how existence could be cherished, strengthened, and fed without the aid of joy. Then did I check the tears of useless passion, weaned my young soul from yearning after thine, sternly denied its burning wish to hasten down to that tomb already more than mine. And even yet I dare not let it languish, dare not indulge in memory's rapturous pain. Once drinking deep of that divinest anguish, how could I seek the empty world again? End of section 22